Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about a brand new MMORPG that was recently announced that should be released sometime towards the end of 2018, and that game is called Ascent Infinite Realm, a steampunk MMO in a world with airships, dragons and magic, which is being developed by Bluehole, the creators of PUBG and Terra, and published by Kakao Games, the same publisher as Black Desert Online. This game is being made in Unreal Engine 3, so graphically it should be similar to Terra and Bless Online. This is a bit of a concern for me as all the MMOs I've tried that are made using this engine suffer from horrible optimization issues. I just hope this game doesn't add to that list. If it does, it will be dead on arrival. But when it comes to the game's features, it has the following. Gameplay both on the land and in the sky. Players can take to the skies with an assortment of airships and flying mounts which serve as transportation, strategic PvP weapons and a medium for player cooperation. There's various flying mounts in the game as well as different airship sizes which aims to give players the ultimate airborne battle experience. Customization and player choice. Players can customize airships, mounts, game difficulty, equipment, player housing, pets and even their own combat style via swapping out different accessories which change how your skills work. Airborne Realm vs Realm PvP. Players can use their airships to engage in epic large scale battles. When your ship gets low on health it seems like you have the option to abandon and ship and use your glider to jump to an enemy's ship and either dismount, hijack or destroy it. The PvP mode itself is quite interesting. Each side will take turns playing offense and defense and is supposed to have a lot of strategy behind it with elements such as cannons, landmines, buffs, jetpacks and gliders to break up the combat. Player housing in the form of estates. This seems to be some kind of instanced area for players to customize in the form of buildings, plots of land and housing. You can build a farm here for example and raise monsters that can be later used as mounts or pets. I'd also expect the estates to be heavily tied to crafting and wealth accumulation. However, in the description that's given for this content it says, you can also work with your neighboring estates to build a community and explore more of the game. Not too sure what this means, but it sounds like you can build a small village Village with a group of people or something? Sounds kinda cool. Five unique classes at launch. The Sorceress, a staff wielder who uses the powers of elemental magic. The Mystic, a wand wielding healer that uses nature magic. The Warlord, a frontline warrior who uses giant weapons. The Assassin, a dagger dual wielder that lurks in the shadows. And the Gunslinger, a battle hardened marksman who uses pistols and a rifle. Based off the description for these classes, I'm gonna assume they're gender locked, which is something Blue Hole did a lot of for its previous MMO, Terra. However, it does seem that, unlike Terra, there could be a Holy Trinity system at play in this game, as so far three of the classes fit the role of DPS, one as tank, and one as healer. Profession. From what we know so far, the game will have fishing, cooking, farming, creature rearing, gathering, and alchemy. I expect more will be shown in the future, though. PvE content in the form of dungeons, raids, and mini-games. Based on the trailer, it seems like alongside the PvP content, Ascent Infinite Realm also features a lot of PvE content, too. You've got dungeons which feature platforming elements, the need to use your jetpack, and vehicle-based encounters. Massive raid bosses, some of which require a fleet of airships to take down, as well as land-based raids and a few mini-games such as flying challenges, barrel racing and more. Action targeting combat system. Based on the gameplay that's been shown, it seems like Ascent Infinite Realms going for an action targeting combat system similar to Terra, so you just aim your mouse and press hotkeys whilst avoiding telegraphs on the floor. This is unlike the combat system games like Black Desert and Vindictus use, which utilize a combination of set key presses alongside free targeting. It will be interesting to see how this works alongside the Holy Trinity that this game also seems to have. Maybe it will offer certain classes a tab targeting option, similar to Bless Online and Revelation Online. Overall, I definitely have mixed thoughts on this game. I think the fact that it's being developed by Blue Hole should mean the game will be very well funded, and as they've had experience in making MMOs in the past, I hope they would have learned from their mistakes with this one. On the other hand though, I've never played a game made by Blue Hole that I'd describe as well optimised. Even 
even PUBG runs like crap, and the fact that this game will also be published by Kakao Games leads me to be very skeptical indeed. As a Black Desert player, I've seen them mishandle a lot of things in the past, and typically they communicate very poorly to the player base and also have a lack of knowledge on the games they publish as a whole. The concept of this game, though, is in my opinion pretty cool. We don't tend to see too many MMOs with this kind of theme come along. The last steampunk MMO I think I played was called Black Gold Online and was a complete and utter failure. My hopes for Ascent Infinite Realm is that it's a completely open world game unlike Terra which was instanced. Based off the footage we've had so far though it's hard to tell if this is the case, but I'm pretty sure things such as player housing, dungeons, realm vs realm and raids will probably be instanced for them to work with any kind of playable FPS, which I'm okay with. I also hope this game doesn't turn out to be pay to win or too heavy on the pay for convenience. If it is, I don't think it will do very well in the West at all. You'd think developers would know the Western market a bit better now with the death of Arcage, Black Desert protests and low player population on pretty much every MMO out there that's considered pay to win at this point. So hopefully if there is a cash shop, which in this day and age I guarantee there will be, I hope it's purely for cosmetics. Based on the gameplay shown in the trailers for Ascent Infinite Realm, I'm honestly not that blown away though. The animations look kind of clunky, the combat fairly standard, and the content itself pretty much what I'd expect from an MMO of this theme. The big air raids and massive PvP battles look pretty cool, but even on the trailer the game looks like it's running at 10 FPS, and in my opinion for this content to be fun, it needs to be playable at a good stable frame rate, whilst not sacrificing too much of the graphical fidelity because let's be honest, there's some parts of this trailer where the graphics look extremely outdated. Certainly not what you'd expect from a 2018 MMO by a developer with the resources that Bluehole have. One thing I also think will turn a lot of people off from trying this game straight away are the gender locked classes. I personally don't care too much about this, but I'd say the majority of Western MMO gamers definitely do. Seems like a bit of a dumb choice by the developers in my opinion. I think the final thing we need to consider with Ascent Infinite Realm is when the game will eventually release in the West, which is expected to be around the end of 2018. At that time, we're going to see a lot of other MMOs that people have been hyped for start to release or at least become playable in beta, such as Ashes of Creation, Crowfall should be fully released by then, Bless Online's Western rework will be finished, Chronicles of Illyria also likely in beta, the launch of a new World of Warcraft expansion, Star Citizen will be making very good progress, as well as many other MMOs such as Camelot Unchained, Pantheon Rise of the Fallen, and more. I feel like based on what's been shown for Ascent Infinite Realm, the track record of the developer and publisher, the engine the game is using and the games coming out when this game is eventually released, it's highly likely that it won't be very successful. That being said, the game will be going into beta for the Korean servers sometime in December, so I'll try my best to somehow get access to that and give you a first impressions video. Who knows, maybe the game plays and feels a lot better than it looks. I hope that's the case because there are some really cool ideas and features here. But that's it for this video guys, as always do let me know your thoughts on Ascent Infinite Realm in the comments below. Will you be giving it a try? Does it look good? Bad? I'd love to know your thoughts. And if you're new to the channel and want to keep up on what's going on with the genre of MMOs or multiplayer PC games, then consider subscribing for more content like this. But thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you again really soon.